C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 3 entitled math magic 3 chapter 12 can we share part 2 page 167 how many shelves i have 20 books i can keep Five books in one shelf. So how many shelves do I need in my Almira? Five books in the first shelf. Fifteen books are left. Picture on the right side shows an Almira with four shelves. The first shelf has five books, and the shelves two, three, and four are empty. Five more books in the second shelf. Ten books are left. Picture on right side shows an Almira with four shelves. The first and second shelves each has five books. The third and fourth shelves are empty. Five more books in the third shelf. Five books are left. Picture on right side shows five books each in the first, second, and third shelves of Almira. The fourth shelf. is empty five more books in the fourth shelf picture on the right side shows all four shelves of almira having five books each 20 books have filled up four shelves of the almira 20 books put into equal groups of five each take four shelves footnote on this and the following page division is done by making equal groups for instance here equal groups of 5 each have been made the process is different from sharing them equally by distributing them into four shelves page 168 now let us try this here are 28 buttons picture below shows 28 green buttons placed in three groups group a 10 buttons group b 10 buttons and group c 8 buttons a tailor puts four buttons on one shirt so now there are seven shirts with buttons picture below shows seven full sleeve shirts each shirt has four buttons 28 divided by 7 is equal to 4 is written mathematically using symbol of division equal to and numbers if there are 28 buttons and the tailor puts 7 buttons on each shirt there will be dash shirts with buttons mathematically 28 divided by 7 is equal to dash page 169 practice time story 1 minku puts her 15 laddus equally into five boxes the picture below shows 15 laddus on left hand side and five square shaped boxes on right hand side question 1 how many laddus will be there in each box there will be dash laddus in each box Mathematically, fifteen divided by five is equal to dash. Question two: If she uses only three boxes, how many laddus will be there in each box? There will be dash laddus in each box. Dash divided by three is equal to dash. Story two. Share twenty-five bananas among five monkeys. How many bananas for each monkey? Picture below shows twenty-five bananas on left-hand side and five monkeys on right-hand side. Dash divided by five is equal to dash. Each monkey has dash bananas. Page one seventy. Stories continue from previous page. 
Story 3 Share 12 balloons among 3 boys. How many balloons for each boy? Picture below shows 12 balloons of different colors placed in a row and 3 boys standing below the balloons. Dash divided by dash is equal to dash. Each boy has dash balloons. Picture 2 has 21 candles and 3 blue boxes. Story 4 There are 21 candles. Put them equally in 3 boxes. How many candles are there in each box? Picture below shows 21 candles on the left hand side and 3 empty square shaped boxes on the right hand side. Dash divided by dash is equal to dash. Page 171 Story 5 There are 18 socks. How many girls can wear these socks? Picture below shows 18 socks arranged in 4 rows. Story 6 Raj has 36 minutes to make rotis. One roti takes three minutes. How many rotis can he make in this time? He can make dash rotis. Picture on the right hand side shows rolling pin which is balan in Hindi and rolling board which is chakla in Hindi. Story 7 There are 24 footmarks of goats. So, how many goats were there? Picture below shows 24 footmarks of goats. Page 172 Story 8 Some girls are playing a game with both their hands. The girls who are playing have 60 fingers altogether. How many girls are playing this game? Picture below shows left and right hands of girls arranged in two rows. Six hands in first row and six hands in second row. Story 9 Lakshmi has 27 kg potatoes to sell. Three men came and bought equal amounts of potatoes. Each man bought dash kg of potatoes. Picture below shows three men holding a bag. Each bag has a question mark on it. Page 173 Jumpy animals A frog jumps two steps at a time. Picture on left side shows a frog. A frog is a small animal with four legs found usually during rains. A frog speaks like croak, croak. A squirrel jumps three steps. Picture on left side shows a squirrel. A rabbit jumps five steps. Picture on left side shows a rabbit. A horse jumps 15 steps. A picture on left side shows a horse. A kangaroo jumps 30 steps. Picture on left side shows a kangaroo. Kangaroo is an animal that is mostly found in Australia. It has long and strong hind legs and short front legs. Kangaroo mothers carry their young babies in a pouch on their belly. A kangaroo speaks like <gasps> Now, use the path on the next page to find out. Question 1. In how many steps will the frog reach 30? 30 divided by 2 is equal to dash. Question 2. In how many jumps Will the squirrel reach 27? 27 divided by 3 is equal to dash.
page 174. As mentioned on the previous page, the picture on this page shows a curved path made of 30 small square tiles numbered from 1 to 30. Question 3. Which number will the kangaroo reach in two jumps? Question 4. Who all will meet at number 15? Dash, dash, dash. Question 5. Will the rabbit ever be at the number 18? Dash. Question 6. How many jumps of the rabbit equal one jump of the horse? Dash. Question 7. How many jumps of the horse equals two jumps of the kangaroo? Question 8. Which is the smallest number where the frog and the squirrel will meet? Dash. The Chapter 12 Can We Share? Part 2 Of total, 14 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Sound Recordists Batilang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistants in Production by Minakshi Kokreti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary this book is presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi India